Hello, hello. Welcome back to Melissa's Manny's and More on YouTube. New to it. So, uh, be patient with me. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you a cool trick. Cool, cool, quick trick. Guess what? We're going to do what I call in my Facebook group the Two Strip Petty Challenge. With these two little tiny or actually it's the biggest strip in the pack, but with two strips, I'm gonna do both my feet, okay? Did my nails earlier today, that video will be up, uh, but I'm gonna match, matchy, matchy my toes to it. So I'm just using these, that's it, no other strips. So I'm gonna show you the trick that I used to do it. And so um, here we go, right? Um, I'm gonna just put my trash here in my trash can right here. So I start by taking off, uh, obviously the plastic, and my feet are average size guys i don't have little tiny feet um, most everybody that's tried it in the group has been able to do it and it's a cool way to save these these bigger i call it the big thumb but you know the biggest strip of the pack that sometimes we use and cut up for strips or whatever um to, you know if you don't use it for your thumb you can you can put it on your toes so this is the way that i do it okay so I start, I um, hope everything is lit up enough and close enough. Uh, but anyway, so I apply this onto my toe, this direction. Start, I've already, now I just did a foot peel. So if you if, if you all see any little, I've got little prickly like heat like stuff here um, that is left over from this peel that I did. So you know, don't be thinking I got anything going on guys. Um, the foot peel was amazing y'all, amazing. So. Um, You've not ever done one of those you should give it a whirl so i wanted to do oh and here's my dog um i want to introduce you to journey <laughs> you may hear dogs bark at any time on my channel or one will just wander up so that was journey okay so there you go first toe done now i take this strip here that i have left and make sure i'm in frame here yes i am and i take it <clears throat> this way and I cut it up the center, like this. Ooh, my scissors are willing to stick. You don't have to be exact, all right? Just cut it up the middle and, and drop it exactly like I did. Hold on. Oh, this is try and fail channel here, guys. Okay, here we go. Um, but I do this all the time. I lay one side of it back down, and then here I go to do my other four toes on this foot. Now I know this toe kind of curves like the nail. So I'd usually do this strip or this piece, turn it this direction. And I just did my nails not long ago. So I don't have as good of like feeling like, okay, so all right, there you go. One done already. And I can use this little orange stick to clean them up. But I want to do this fairly quickly so I don't keep you all so long. So now I've got one more nail to get out of this before I can say, hey, I've got, I've got it, y'all. I've got it. So if you have not heard of this little trick or or you've done it before, it is super convenient. If you've got all these little strips left in your your um, stash, these big, big strips left, and you're like, well, I don't know what to do with them. And um, I do use them, you know, when I, I do art nails and things like that because they're awfully handy, you know, because they're big and whatnot, but you can actually do both feet with them. So I, I just tuck it under and I'm usually always use my nails. They're still, I just did them <laughs> literally like about 10 minutes ago. They're a little bit still fresh, maybe is the word I want to use. So they haven't cured all the way. So I don't want to mess them up too much, but I want to show how you do two feet with one two little strips or two big strips rather but two strips it's, we call it the two strip petty challenge in the group that i have and we have been successfully doing it ladies have been wearing it out it's been sending them to them and they've been doing it at home and then putting their pictures up and it's amazing amazing so i hope y'all can see i'm just basically sticking it to my my nail and then just scoring it off and always you know our, our toes go back and clean them up later it's not a big 
not a big thing. That they will stick to your toes forever, guys. You all already know that if you use Color Street. Like you can put it on and that they you will have to take it off. I mean, it will not messing that nail up. It you won't have to like take it. I mean, like it will not wear off. Um it will not wear off. You will have to get polish remover and take it off. Now, it'll grow out, you know. That's usually what happens to mine. Like, I need to change those. Because uh, I've got grow out at the back out here. So, But, uh, as you can see, I've already got one foot done. And I might get fancy and do a little striping on my toe. My big toe. If I don't take too long. Usually, my nails are not fresh and I don't have to... Uh, be careful with them. Should the push probably should have waited to film this, but it is what it is, right? Real life, always real life here. This is wicked cool, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stripe it regardless of whether um, I get it on the video. I'm gonna stripe it with Berlin it to win it, which is what's on my nail. So. Um, Probably just my big toe. So there you go. One foot, one strip. So let's go ahead and do the other one. And get scooted back here. <laughs> Make sure you all can see. Oh, I feel like I keep scooting back. My chair is... Also, I'm trying to, to beat my husband from coming home. Because when he does, the dogs are going to go nuts. So. Trying to hurry. Also, you all don't have all day to sit here and watch me do this, so here we go. Um, I do have on, I think I, I should have by the time this goes up, um, the Manny video that matches this um, will be up. And um, then also, um, I have several of the shorts, like the little video shorts for Manny's that I've done in the past. So check those out if you like my channel subscribe um there's absolutely no pressure to do so um but yeah it's just it's an outlet for me to uh do my nails and some of my buddies were like you need to do this and i'm like okay after a while of them saying i needed to do it i finally gave up and was like okay then all right all right i will <laughs> so and so far so good i'm still very new very very new so it said I had this one curved that direction. Um, let's see. I'm going to use this other side first. Because once again, I'm going to use this on this toe. It's got that little curve right there. It fits my toe pretty well. So I'm just going to stick it down. And just kind of give it a little snug right there. And voila. I'm going to turn that under. And I'll come back and clean it up in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and get these all placed down. Let's see. My nose is running. Oh, gosh, I live in the south, y'all. Woo! Allergies. They are bad right now, let me tell you. I think in my Manny video, I was talking about how bad that the bees have been. The yellow jackets have been on a rampage in the area that I live. I don't know how many of my friends I saw the other night had posts that were like had been stung today it was all in one day it's like the yellow jacks had a meeting <laughs> we're like we get them you know so I don't know how many people it was just sad I kept thinking is this real is this like some kind of thing for people to put on here it's like yellow jacket day but yeah evidently I guess we're getting into what they call here I guess it's everywhere it's called the dog days of summer where everything that stings or bites is going to get you one way or another. So, well, normally, like I said, I would use my fingernail, but I don't want to mess it up too bad. So, I'm going to just clean this up a little bit. And if I have time, we will strike this. So, again, um, see, I've been using this is Color Street, obviously. Nail strips. This is Wicked Cool, which is Wicked Cool. It came out in the um, the neon. I think it was called maybe 90s neons, maybe something like that. Um, collection. 
so good so good there were some really good ones in that that one um but this is by far my favorite from that that collection so there we go we've done my whole all my toes with two strips so i would love to see if any of y'all try this and please do it in the comments if you do because i would love to know like if you all take this little challenge and try it with some of your strips at home it's very um cool to know that you can just like you know sew up a couple little strips if you're going to the beach or something you want to change out your uh, pedicure you can just you know take those strips out and cut it open and um i'm gonna turn this under for right now because i want to try to strike this nail and i realize i'm running out of time i know that my husband's on his way home from work and um He's stopping by to pick us up dinner and I will run out of time. And then you will hear the dogs go bananas. And I would really not want that to happen. But as you can see, it does cover all of my nail. So what I'm gonna do is just push this down. I wanna go back. I've already done this ahead of time, guys. I was thinking ahead, okay? I want to strop this similar to my to my fingernail. I normally don't do anything to my, my toes. I just leave them. So like I said before, this is a pass and fail channel. We will not always succeed. Uh-oh, and we may not this time, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I've never done anything like this to my toes. At least I can work with one hand and not have to worry about trying to do my non-dominant <laughs> hand like I was when I was doing my nails. So we're gonna just try to match our, our toes and our fingers together and um, see if we can get some sort of cool little pattern going similar to what's on my finger may just do one foot because I don't want y'all to have to stay here forever and I have a feeling that my husband's in the atmosphere because my dogs are already starting and they can I don't know how y'all they start about five minutes or so before he gets home and it's crazy they just know that he is on his way home so there you go just down here just take it off and as you can see it's so easy to do it's just so so easy nothing has to be perfect a few little straps. This is nothing but a strip of Berlin it to win it um, that I cut ahead of time into little tiny strips and had it waiting. So if I had time that I would do it, but if not, then I would not. So I'm just hoping I get this one toe done <laughs> so we can uh, at least see what it's going to look like. And this strip is a little wider. That's okay too. That is okay. Oops, whoa, I really went sideways that time. Hold on. Let's see. Like I said, Pasta, we will fail here sometimes. It's, it is a given. It's a given all the time. Tell me I had taken the plastic off of that. I know I did. Oops. And who knew my scissors or my tweezers locked, y'all? Oh my goodness. I don't think they're supposed to, but somehow they did. And the longer that that sits there, the longer it's going to want to stay. Get up off of there. It wants to stay there, though, doesn't it? Oh, it is going to stay there. All right, then. We're going to have one little crooked thing right here. Okay, that's okay. You know what? I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit more. Because... I can't leave anything well enough alone. <clears throat> I should have stopped while I was ahead. But there again, that's not my personality. Oops, here we go. See how I could, oh, did I know I took the plastic off, but it surely does feel like it's got that, that acetate on it, but I know it doesn't. Look at it until it doesn't, but it feels like it does. Okay, let's see. How can I make this train wreck better? I can try to 
make this not quite as obvious right there that little mistake and then i will not do both feet i will stop on this but i will post a short that shows the finished product on both feet so you all don't have to sit through me doing the other foot let's see hopefully i don't have to redo my thumbs because they're getting a lot of wear here all right let's see i'm gonna try to get it right to the edge of my toe that's kind of how i did my finger i had like a point that came out at the end there kind of what i was going for all right see there no harm no foul all right um so i'm gonna just again take this little this little thing right here if my my uh, thumbnail was not still to where I would mess it up, I would just go around through there with my thumbnail and take all this off just that way. So now I have like a little matching mani patty, kind of in opposite colors, but still matchy. And uh, we'll definitely put these up for you guys to see. And uh, I hope that it will inspire you to try to do your toes with the two strips and see if it works. I never knew until I tried it <laughs> that it would work, but it does. So let's see. I'm going to like this. I normally, like I said, I normally do not decorate my toes in any way. I normally just do those two little strips and I'm done, ready to go. But every once in a while, do a little something extra. Also, you know what? I should be using is these. <clears throat> that would be a whole lot easier. Just be careful, ladies. Be careful. <clears throat> I was, um, got cut with these one time in a salon, so I'm always very hesitant when I go to use them, but it's okay. If it's me using them on myself, I'm pretty good, but when somebody gets around me with these, I start wincing. So, all right, there we go. So that was my Manny, and there is the, the Petty, the finished Petty. So pretty cool, right? And I did these strips with just, I did this whole pedicure with the Wicked Cool with two strips, the two biggest of them. So I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments if you try it. If you like this channel, come join us. Just come and hang out with me. I normally am just sitting here rambling to myself and as I said you probably will hear my dogs at some point so I had better stop now uh, while I'm ahead before my husband gets home and I shall say good day have a good afternoon everyone and I hope that you like this this is a really cool little uh matchy matchy easy peasy design to do so have a wonderful day and I will be back with more videos to help you with tips and tricks for Color Street. Have a wonderful day.